Clayton Lockett was convicted of torturing, shooting, and burying alive 19-year-old Stephanie Neiman in 1999. Charles Warner was convicted of raping and murdering his girlfriend's 11-month-old baby, Adriana Waller, in 97. So do Oklahomans care if they suffer during their execution? Absolutely not. Why? Because they've done, they're evil, very evil. It would be much less painful than what their victims went through. We're not inhumane about it. We're not hacking them into little pieces or hanging them from a tree. We're injecting them to let them pass away. A needle prick is not that big of a deal. Warner's assistant federal public defender, Madeline Cohen, talks to us from Denver. It's easy to say that death row inmates have committed terrible crimes and so they should suffer horribly. But again, this is really about who we are as a society and what we expect of our government. Cohen said she and her client freaked out when they heard inmate Michael Lee Wilson said he felt his whole body burning during his January execution. I don't believe that Oklahoma officials are purposefully hurting inmates, but the, the procedures that are being undertaken in secrecy are very, very troubling. Cohen is also concerned about an investigation from the Colorado Independent, which says in response to a Texas request on how to deal with the drug scarcity, an assistant AG emailed a colleague saying Oklahoma might cooperate in exchange for much sought after 50 yard line tickets to the Red River rivalry. I don't know if they were joking or serious, but regardless, I think we need to expect more from our public officials. 